Hi everyone, it's Prue here from Hepburn Libraries and welcome to another edition of 5 Minute Science. This is where we have a look at really interesting scientific concepts through fun experiments that you can do at home. Now I am super excited about today's experiment because it is lots and lots of fun. Today we're going to be looking at something called acids and bases and the pH scale. And we're going to be having a look at what different um, substances are acids and what different substances are bases and how to test for them. Now, you actually come across acids and bases in your everyday life all the time. And you probably know quite a few of them. So, for example, lemon juice is an acid and soap is a base. And they tend to have very distinguishing characteristics. So an acid will often be quite sour. It will often react, very strong acids often react with metal. It's what we call a corrosive um, liquid. And they'll also conduct electricity when they're in solution. Now a base, on the other hand, tends to taste quite bitter. And it's often very slippery in nature. And it's often really good for actually dissolving fats and oils. Okay, so today's five minute science experiment, we're going to test to see what's an acid and what's a base. Now, to do this, we're going to use a cabbage, a red cabbage to be exact, because a red cabbage is actually what we call an indicator. It's going to help us determine what's an acid and what's a base. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a red cabbage. What you need to do to make up your indicator fluid, you're then going to cut your cabbage up into lots of little chunks and pour boiling water over the top. Now, of course, if you're using boiling water, make sure you're getting an adult to help you out so you don't get burnt and leave the boiling water sitting over the cabbage for about 30 minutes. Now, once that's done, what you're going to do is then drain off all of the water from the cabbage and you're going to make this really really beautiful liquid it's actually purple in color it's really gorgeous isn't it fun like this isn't that a fun beautiful color so that's from your red cabbage and this is what we call our indicator fluid Okay, now next we have to test some things to see what's an acid and what's a base. So I've just grabbed a few different things from around the home and let's have a look to see what happens. So let's see, I've got here a few different things. I've got some orange juice. I've got some vinegar. I've just got plain filtered water. I've got some baking soda or bicarb soda and I've got just some household just some laundry detergent that's mixed up in water so let's see what's an acid and what's a base now to test you just need to get some of your indicator fluid and drop it in to the liquid now if it turns pink it's an acid and look how pink that vinegar went. Super pink. All right, let's try putting it in perhaps our laundry detergent. If your indicator, your cabbage juice goes green or a bluish green, it's a base. How cool is that? All right, how about our orange juice. Do you think it might be an acid or a base? Let's find out. Ooh. Now, of course, orange juice already has that very kind of yellowish color. So, but you'll actually see that it's kind of turning a pinky orange color. So it's an acid. All right, let's try our bicarb soda or our baking soda. Aha, look at that. It is turning blue, which means that it's a base. Now, I mentioned that we have something called the pH scale. 
Now the pH scale is a way that we measure what's an acid and what's a base and how acidic it is or how alkaline it is because another word for base is an alkaline substance. Now the pH scale goes from zero all the way up to 14 and the substance that's in the middle is water. Water shouldn't be acidic or alkaline. It should be what we call pH neutral. So I've got some water here and let's have a look and see what color it turns. Now it doesn't turn any color. It's still the same purple that we have from our cabbage juice. So that indicates to me that that is pH neutral. So I'll bring these a little further up to you so you can see. Aren't they cool? So with the pH scale, you've got water that's in the middle and that's a pH of seven. And then you've got all your acids that are lower than seven, all the way down to one. So lemon juice is around about two or three. Then you've got the other end of the scale, which are our alkaline substances, our bases, and they can go all the way up to 14. And your laundry detergent is sitting at around about 12 or 13. Now, interesting fact, the cells in our body actually have a pH of 6.8, so very, very close to water. And our blood cells have a pH of 7.4, so again, very, very close to water, so very close to neutral. But the acid in our stomach has a pH of one. It's a really, really acidic liquid environment. And that's, of course, to help us break up all those, fat, all those fats and foods and get everything churned up. So how do our cells actually cope when they're lining the stomach in amongst all of that acid? Well, it happens because they're actually disposable. The cells can't exist in such an acidic nature for so long. And so they actually die and get replaced. So our entire stomach lining pretty much gets replaced every seven to 10 days because it's in such an acidic environment. So that is our pH scale. That is our acids and our bases. And what it means is with our acids that there's more hydrogen ions and then less hydrogen ions in our alkaline substances. So have a try at home. This is a really fun experiment to try at home. Try lots of different substances. See what happens. Are they acids? Are they bases? What about tomato juice? What about toothpaste? What about egg whites? Have a look at some of the liquids and some of the foods around your home. Get yourself some cabbage and make yourself an indicator and try this really, really fun experiment at home. And let us know in the comments below the video how you went, what did you try and what did you find out? Have fun doing this wonderful five minute science experiment and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.